everyone, it's Shannon here, and I'm so excited to be with you all here at Simon Says to share with you a card I created with Waffle Flower's new spring release. First up is this apartment builder die. This is such a sweet little die. It allows you to create the cutest little apartment scene, even with a balcony, awnings, windows, curtains, super cute. I'll be using the A2 grid panel as well to help me build that scene. This is a very versatile die as well. And then I will fill my scene with little images here from the Tea Party stamp set. It's a really sweet little set. I love that kitty there, especially when you can tuck him into cups. I'm gonna have him t peeking out the window. And then this is the Tea Party matching dies. I'll be using those as well. And I'll complete my card with a sentiment from the Flora Home stamp set. This stamp set was intended to accompany the pop-up house die. It's a really great um, stamp set for that die. I've already gone ahead and used that A2 grid panel die to cut a panel out of Nina Solar White cardstock 110 pound weight. I've also used the apartment builder die to cut three windows, three curtains, three railings, and one awning, again out of Nina Solar White 110 pound. I'm going to start by ink blending this nine grid panel with um, some Waffle flower dye ink, this is called New Fish in Pond. It's a really beautiful light aqua color. But before I um, ink blend, I'm going to snip these little dividers between um, these the second and third row of squares here to create three columns. This is the perfect size for those window frames that I cut using the apartment builder die. So now that I've got that all snipped, I'm going to um, start to ink blend. Just going to do a little bit more snipping here and then I'll start to ink blend. I'm going to be using a mini ink blending tool to do my blending and I'll speed this up really quickly. I just like to ink blend um, my die cut sometimes because I think it adds, it en enhances the details. There's a beautiful little stitched detail around um, all of the openings on this nine grid uh, panel and the stitching or the blending really helps to kind of bring all those little details out. Of course, you could also just use colored cardstock if you want um, your apartment to have color and you don't want to do the, the blending. But I'm almost done here. Um, I really only needed to just blend that exterior uh, rectangle or exterior frame of this panel. And this small uh, rectangle uh, yeah, negative because the railing is going to go right over that. So I just need something kind of behind that railing. So those are, now that background is done, I can move on to some of the other elements of the apartment. I'm going to move on to the railings and the awning. And I'm gonna use this beautiful waffle flower ink called Peace of Mind. It's kind of like a dark teal. I think it looks very pretty when used with the um, aqua color. And I'm just gonna quickly blend these. Um, again, this doesn't have to be a really um, smooth blending. Uh, just blending it really fast just to get some color down on the cardstock. And I, I do think though, a possibility with this blending and die cuts is you can always blend like a gradation on um, the die cut, which you can't really do obviously with the colored cardstock. And I think a gradation would be really pretty on this awning. I don't do it here, but um, I think I might do it on another card because I just thought that had a nice effect with that darker at the top getting lighter towards the bottom. So now those parts are all blended. I only have one more um, part of the apartment to blend, and that's these curtains. I'm going to use um, Waffle Flowers Happy Go Lucky, which is a really pretty like pastel purple, to blend these three curtains really quickly. I also think it would be really fun to stamp on these curtains um, and almost give them like a fabric pattern onto them. I think that would be really pretty too. Or even use uh, pattern paper for the curtains. I think those would all be really fun ideas with this apartment builder die. So almost done there. I'm going to next move on to my images. So now that I have all these uh, parts of the apartment all blended and ready to go, I'm going to move on to stamping the images from this Tea Party stamp set. So I just have a scrap piece of Nina Solar White here in my Misty, and I'm going to position uh, several of the images from that Tea Party stamp set in here, and then ink them up with um, Memento Tuxedo Black, 
which is a alcohol friendly ink because I will be Copic coloring these after I stamp them. So I'm just going to grab my little memento here and just ink it all over and then fold it over and stamp it. So just simple stamping. Of course, you could definitely do this with an acrylic block. You don't need a misty for this. Um, the misty just ensures that I don't make any mistakes and I can allows me to stamp the images a couple of times so uh, they're nice and dark and very black and bold. So now I've stamped my first set. I do need to stamp that flower uh, two more times and I'm stamping that that um, pennant banner once more as well. So I'll have two pennant banners and three flowers when I'm all done stamping. And after, so I've stamped all my images, there's one last thing I want to stamp. I want to stamp the second portion of my sentiment, really only that heart. Again, the sentiment is from the Flora Home stamp set. I'm going to color in that heart, so that's why I'm stamping it. So now I'm going to start using my Copic markers here, and I will have the numbers on screen so you can follow along. It's just some simple Copic coloring. Um, usually I'm only using two shades. Uh, in larger areas I will use three, but some very simple blending. I'm going to play some music and meet you guys back when I'm almost done. So I'm just finishing up here. I'm not going to show you the flowers or the banner because I've already colored those. So I've now colored everything and I've moved on to die cutting. I've die cut most of everything out. And if you'll notice here that Kitty is, uh, I've die cut her out, but she's intended to kind of, the die doesn't cut the base of the, the Kitty. So you can kind of um, have her poking out of a, the edge of your cardstock. Um, so I'm just going to trim her down with some scissors. And don't worry about the rest of her. That will all be hidden because that's going to be tucked behind the window. And I will fussy cut out this heart. And then this heart will go inside my sentiment after uh, I've stamped it 
on the uh, awning. So just going to quickly fussy cut this out. I will um, finish this off with a little bit of coloring with a Tombow Mono um, dual brush pen. This, I'll just color the edges. I'm going to grab it here in just a second. So there's the pen. So I'm going to pick up this heart and just color the edges. This just gives a finished look to this cut since I cut straight to the edge of the stamped image. And so when I do eventually glue this into my sentiment, it'll be very seamless. You won't see this like little white border. It'll kind of really blend right on in. So now I only have left to cut or trim down this um, this cup here. I don't want the saucer. I kind of want the cup to look kind of like a planner. So I'm just going to trim around the the base of the cup and completely cut off this saucer. And then if you, it's hard to see, but there's two little spots, uh, little black spots um, remaining of the saucer. So I'm just going to use a white gel pen here and just color in right over that stamped remaining portion of the saucer. And now the um, the cup looks completely clean. So that's a good trick if you want to avoid having to mask. And again, you only want to do it for little areas, just like I did there, just the small little remaining portions of the saucer. But it does save me the hassle of having to mask and doing all that. And now I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife and just cut the um, right above the lip so uh, I have a little spot to tuck in the flowers because I'm going to tuck in those three flowers inside that um, cup when I'm all when I'm ready to assemble. So I just have all the pieces done and ready to go but I do need to stamp my sentiment now on the balcony. I'm going to pull the sentiment off of the um, floor home set. The sentiment says home is where the heart is. It's a two-part sentiment so I'm going to piece it together here on the balcony. Now this balcony has um, these die, these cut um, ridges in it, and so that's why I'm using my Misty here, just so I can stamp it multiple times and really get that ink down in between those ridges. So the um, all the words and all the letters are very visible. So I'm just stamping it a couple times. I did use Versafine Onyx Blank ink here as well. So now my sentiment is stamped. I'm ready to finally assemble everything. So I'm going to start by placing this rectangle negative piece back into the grid panel. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape here just to hold it in place. Eventually this panel will be glued down onto my card base so everything will be um, tightly glued together. I'm going to start with these window frames and we didn't do any ink blending on these so these are white. I'm just using some Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Adhesive here um, to glue these all down. So there are three of them. I'm gluing them just right above the stitching and you can see how they fit really nicely and neatly on this grid panel. I'm going to move on to the balcony now and just adhere that. I'm going to be a little bit careful here because I didn't dry the um, VersaFine so I'm just making sure not to touch where I stamped. And now I'm gluing down these railings. And they, um, I'm overlapping them just a little bit onto the frame onto the window frames and um, leaving a nice um, border at the uh, bottom of the panel. And I just have to hold these just for a second to, to the, for the glue to adhere and then, or hold, and then I'm ready to move on to the next pieces. So now I'm doing the curtains. I'm going to glue these really, um, the only place I should put glue is at the very top of the curtain. I want to leave these the sides of the curtain and the bottom of the curtains open so I can kind of slide in, especially my girl and the kitty. Um, so I don't really glue these completely down. So I'm really only gluing the very top of the curtain to the back of the uh, grid panel. And once I've got these all glued, I'm going to move on to tucking in my images. So I'm going to start with the girl, put her right in the center. Um, window and have her just in front of the curtain so you can really see as much as her as you really as you possibly can. And then I'm going to tuck the kitty in there and I'm going to flip the panel over and just put some glue on that uh, end of the cat that you won't see then really hold it in place. Now for the um, little pot I'm going to tuck in all my flowers. So I have three of those flowers there tucking them and arranging them and then I'll flip the um, little pot over and use some more of that liquid glue and glue it down. 
Last but not least, I have that pennant banner that I'm going to glue right under the sentiment. I did make two of those, as you remember, and I only needed to color the smaller portion of that banner, trim it down, and then now I'm adding it to the last part to, so it goes all the way across that, that uh, awning. And now I'm gluing in that heart right into that sentiment, and this is pretty much done. I have a little bit more ink blending to do. I want a little bit of light or warmth behind those windows. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of ink blending with the Oh Happy Day ink, just really lightly, a slight gradation, a little darker towards the top of the windows and gets a little bit lighter towards the base. And now I'm ready to glue this down. I'm gonna add a little glue to the um, back of the curtains and to the sides of the grid panel. And then I'll flip this over. And again, our, I should say my card base is a top folding A2 card base. So it's four and a quarter by 11, scored and folded at five and a half. And this is pretty much done. I only have one little thing that I forgot to do. I'm gonna grab my gel pen here and just um, color the end of the um, the banner there because that had a little uh, black string all the way to the end and I want it to have that nice beautiful white border all the way around and this is done so I hope you guys enjoyed this card today and enjoyed looking more closely at some of the new products in Waffle Flower's spring release thanks for watching have a wonderful day